welcome back to the vlog guys today we're going to port credit we're starting off at tall oaks park Alright, so Tall Oaks Park was a little bit small. And we're entering St. Lawrence Park. Should get a better view of the waterfront real soon. The Port Credit is a small town close to the lake, Lake Ontario, but it's also a part of Mississauga, which is the main city. Here we have a nice little lookout where you can come chill with your significant other and just enjoy the view. Water looks a little bit calm today. So I'm filming this on July 30th, it's about 5.45 p.m. So the walkway here has two levels, the upper level and I'm going to go by the lower level. That's right by the lakefront. Water is pretty clear. It's not that deep either. There's also some lakefront condos over here. Some residents viewing the lake right now. You'll be paying a premium for those views. Home prices in Ontario are out of this world. Looks like there's a party going on here. Okay, 
the trail veers back off the waterfront path and is bringing us back close into the city um, into the town itself actually oh shit I think this guy I think this guy actually fell off his bike just now By the way guys, this is called the Waterfront Trail that I'm on right now. The section in South Mississauga. And the city of Mississauga is just uh, about a 20 minute drive west of Toronto, depending on traffic. Nice and sunny today. It's about 21 degrees in the city. So we're passing a couple of the uh, older hotels in Port Credit. This is one right here. Then there's that one further down. It's called the Waterside Inn. It has a pretty nice restaurant attached as well. But they're both a little bit dated. I <laughs> On my left side over here is Port Credit Marina. And this is where the rich folks keep their boats in the winter. We're gonna get a better view of it shortly. Sorry about the wind, guys. Here's a better view of the marina, guys.
All right guys, so Ontario have moved into stage three of their reopening process after the lockdown for COVID. So now they're allowing uh, people to go inside to dine. They have reopened gyms and uh, restaurants are fully reopened, but the indoor dining is at a capacity. I'm not sure, I think it's 50% or something. Yeah, so we're seeing less and less people outside with masks on. At this section of uh, the Credit River, they don't allow any fishing. I can see some guys all the way over there on that little spit doing some fishing though. We are now on the opposite side of the marina. And we're almost at the lookout point. <laughs> All right guys, this is the end of our little walkway. If you were to cross Lake Ontario right here and go straight across, you would um, end up in Rochester, depending which direction you go. We got an owner of a yacht over there just chilling on his yacht. Here's a better view of the Credit River. For you guys, but the problem is they created the problem. Yeah. There is no lifeguards out here. But they do have life-saving equipment and there's no swimming allowed here either so you shouldn't be in the water anyways All right guys, we're coming up back on that restaurant called Snug Harbor. It's basically a seafood restaurant, similar to Red Lobster, but there's only one of it. They sell some premium seafood dishes. Okay guys, next stop we'll be at the Port Credit Lighthouse, which is about uh, just over there. I don't know if you can see because of the sun, but yeah.
This road right here, guys, is a Lakeshore Road. It's just a main road that runs parallel to the lake in Mississauga. It also goes across to further west to Oakville and Burlington and further east to Toronto. We're coming up on the lighthouse right now and we're just crossing the bridge over the Credit River. That's where we're walking from. Okay guys, we're just going back from the lighthouse and we're gonna wrap around and go on to Lakeshore and see what Port Credit is like along Lakeshore. As you can see, Port Credit is a great place to come and get your selfies and some nice pictures. So the waterfront trail actually wraps around and goes underneath Lakeshore Road, parallel to the river, so we can get on the other side. Although there's sometimes that the water comes up really high and this section is impassable. Right now we're directly under Lakeshore. So this is the little park that's on the other side of Lakeshore. It's called Port Credit Memorial Park. There's actually a skating rink here a library there's some new condos coming up not completed yet though this is the library right here I 
and here they have a beaver tail truck so basically uh, beaver tail is just a Canadian pastry it's like thin dough fried with like icing and all kinds of toppings it's more like a dessert item more than anything else they also have a play place over here for the kids and some basketball courts or half courts it basically wraps around and comes right back around to Lakeshore Road so we're gonna turn back and go straight onto Lakeshore Road and continue back across and make our way east back to our starting point I'll give you guys a look at the menu for beaver tails Also an ice cream truck over here and this would be the parking lot for the library I'm not too sure if the library is open I'm thinking they should be but that's the entrance to the library and it looks like they're closed Alright guys, so we're making our way along Lakeshore now, heading eastbound back to our starting point. And this is where you'll see the restaurants and hangout spots. It's pretty busy since it's a Friday evening.
All right, guys, so if you go back that way, you would head back onto the lake. We're just on the south side of Lakeshore right now. guys so this street here that we came to is here Ontario or highway 10 and we are heading back south onto the wa waterfront trail and then we'll head back east to our starting point so we're just coming up on st. Lawrence Park again from the north And just a bunch of townhouses. And condos. It looks like we got a bunch of folks shooting a video. All right guys, and here we are, back at the waterfront trail. All right guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like more videos like this, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.